Hey, welcome back. All right, today we are nearing the end of my declutter series and I'm doing my silver and gold drawer. This is gonna be the last drawer that I officially do on camera. Everything else, the last little tidbits that I'm gonna do is gonna be off camera and I'm gonna come back and do one final video where I recap everything that I decluttered um, off camera and then I'll show you all the swatch pictures of everything that I decluttered throughout the entire series. So this drawer is only half full. I don't have a ton of silver and golds. I don't know that I really have dupes of anything, but we'll see if there's anything I can get rid of. Um, let's go ahead and start. So the first one I have is a Femme Fatale. I got this one from Olga. This is Defiled in Gold. I don't think I have, like I said, I don't really think I have anything that's dupes of each other, but I will kind of set things aside and see if there's anything to compare, but I really don't think there is. This one I just recently picked up, well, I guess last year, but um, in December during Zoya's 70% off sale. This is Serafina. This one has been on my wish list for years and years and years, and I finally got it because Krista told me I needed to. So I picked it up. I think I'm gonna try to wear it this winter. By the time I got it, it was too late to really wear it last year. So I'm gonna try to wear this this winter. We'll see how I play around with that. All right, then we have Emily Damali, The Time Is Now, one of my absolutely favorite Emily Damalis. Definitely not getting rid of this. Look how gorgeous this is. So, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm keeping that. Set that aside. Okay, then we have Rogue Lacquer's Here Comes the Sun. I'm gonna keep this one. Beautiful gold flakies. Very, very, very blingy. Okay, then we have Zoya's Celestia. This one is unique and interesting. I didn't love the way I wore this, but it's just so pretty. I have another one that's similar by China Glaze, which honestly, I think somehow the China Glaze one might be on my glitter rack, but this one isn't. They're similar, they are different from each other. I have compared them before. Um, they're just so unique and interesting. I really need to find a way that I truly love this because the way I wore it, I didn't love. But I'm gonna hold on to it for now because it is interesting and unique. Okay, then we have Zoya's Trixie. I also picked this one up during their 70% off sale. I have their gold, um, their foiled gold that I've had for years. And I never had the silver. The gold one is Ziv. And then this is Trixie. I finally picked up the silver. So I have two metallic-y foiled gold and silver. So I'm gonna keep both of those. Okay, then we have Great Lake Lacquer to the King. This is really pretty. I got this one in a D-stash. This is more of like a kind of like pewter. It's got those really pretty bronzy flakes. Really pretty, I like that one. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we have Emily Damali Silver and Cold. Go ahead and keep that one. Okay, then we have Sally Hansen Insta Dry Go for the Gold. I think I was considering decluttering this a couple years ago, thinking that it was very similar to the Ziv, but they're actually very different. This one has a lot more warmth to it, and they are different. And I don't love metallic y or foils, but I do feel like during the holiday season, they are unique and interesting and something that I should have in my collection. So I'm gonna keep this one because they are different undertones. Okay, then we have Garden Path Lacquers, You'll Join Us Someday. Look how beautiful that is. Really pretty. Hi, Biscotti. What are you doing, Papa? He's staring at me. Okay, I just picked this one up um, last year during OPI's um, from their winter collection. I found it at um, TJ Maxx. This is five golden, five golden flings. Look how pretty that is. So beautiful and unique for OPI to do flakies. Really pretty. Love that one. Okay, KB Shimmer. What is this one called? Gone Glamping. I decluttered this before, and then it was rolling around the bottom of my declutter bag. I hadn't gotten rid of it after several years, and. I pulled it back out. It's so pretty and sparkly. I've never worn it though, or I've only ever worn it the one time. Let me re-swatch this. This is one of those polishes that I keep going back and forth on and I don't know what to do with it. Okay, then we have um, Glitter Days, You Octopi My Thoughts. Really pretty. 
This is another one that I feel like I might have decluttered years ago, but then I uncluttered it because I have nothing like this. I don't really have, like I said, a lot of just like silver and golds. Everything has flakies or shimmers, but I don't have just kind of like metallic, hollowy silver and gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Okay, then we have, let's see, Dollish Polish, scruffy looking Nerf Herder. This one is kind of interesting, but I remember when I wore this, the combo I wore this in, I didn't love it. Um, and I am trying to get rid of as many of these minis as I can. Let me swatch this and see how I feel about it. Um, it is kind of interesting. It has a unique kind of like um, antique undertone. So let me, let me set it aside and maybe I can franken it. Okay, different dimensions, Venus. I'll go ahead and keep that one beautiful. I have a couple of these, um, like the earth ones from them with these beautiful shifting flakes and they're all so pretty. I just haven't gotten around to this one. Okay, nine zero, Holy Fire. I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I use this one to franken a few different times. And it's really pretty, has a really beautiful sparkle. Okay, then we have Kale Polish Casino Night. I've already um, restored this at least once, and it needs to be restored again, but this is just super, super blingy. Perfect for the holidays. So even though I don't wear these polishes a ton, they're always nice to have on hand for when I do want to wear them. Okay, then we have Ion P Empire, another really blingy gold. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, KB Shimmers Bling in the New Year. I had a bunch of these. They're kind of like, it started off as a birthstone collection and then they expanded the formula into other collections. And almost all of them have tarnished. This one, I think I already decluttered. Actually, I have some set aside. Um, I have a couple that I decluttered in the past and I've been using them to franken with that's why the bottles are almost empty i've been adding these two different things to franken because they're ultra sparkly um but they all kind of tarnish down to the same similar polish this one i feel like tarnished differently and looks kind of different or these two are similar but this is the one i kept and i decluttered that one and then you can see these ones are kind of different so that was a long way of saying i'm not sure I'm looking through. I think this is the only one that I've actually kept and the rest I've been using as declutters. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, then we have Glam Polish, Bright Lights, Big City. This one is beautiful. I, I guess it must be opaque. I'll have to look at my swatches, but this one must be opaque. Otherwise I would have it with my toppers. Beautiful though, I love all my glams. All right, then we have another glam. This one is the She-Wolf. This one's really pretty. This one could probably go in my grays. Um, I'm not sure why it's in my silvers and not my grays. This probably can be moved. I will look at my swatch and decide what I want to, if I want to move that into my gray drawer. All right, then we have Glam Polish, the Dragon Queen. Look at that one, very pretty. Go ahead and keep that one. KOPI, this one is DS Titanium. Now this one is one that I do know I decluttered many, many years ago. And I eventually uncluttered it. It's just so, so sparkly and blinky, but I never wear it. It's kind of similar to, oh no, I guess they're different. Um, I don't know, you guys. Last time I tried to declutter it, I uncluttered it. I'm just gonna keep it. Okay, then we have my oldest um, Colors of Carol. This one is Shale. Actually, why is, um, I guess because this is more bronzy, but this should maybe be in my brown drawer? No, um, I don't know. It's kind of like a bronzy gold, so I guess that's why I keep it in my golds and not my browns. Let me know, should this go in with my browns or keep it in my goldy bronze. Anyways, I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer's Self Reflection. 
From what I remember, this one looked hideous on me. Has really bad formula. All of these reflectives need to be restored. Um, the way I wear these now is one coat over undies. Um, but when I wore this on its own, it was one of those polishes that just made my nails look extremely dirty and dingy. I don't know if wearing undies, what are you guys doing? I don't know if wearing undies with this is really going to help. So I'm just gonna declutter that one, get rid of that one. Okay, another femme fatale that I got from Olga. This was Reliquary of Souls, Reliquy of Souls. They're different, I've um, compared them together. They're different. The puppies are playing over, fighting over a bow. Not really fighting, they play. Okay, then we have, let's see, Morgan Taylor's Give Me Gold. This is another one that I decluttered many years ago, and then I started using it as frankening. I mixed the shimmery gold into other things, and then I discovered that it's actually really beautiful, and I uncluttered it, and I don't have anything else like it. Yeah, they're completely different tones. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. All right, then we have Essie's, what is this called? So Stellar. This is kind of like a pewter. It looks like it's kind of a mix of silver and gold. Really pretty and blinky, I'll keep that. All right, then we have Bluebird Lacquer Unicornaments 2.0. That's pretty for um, layering combos. Okay, Cuticula is Queen of Hearts. Really pretty and unique. Love this one, keep that. All right, Rogue Lacquers, not the gumdrop buttons. Got this one from their advent box last year, I think, 2022. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I don't have anything like it. Why is this in my, I guess because it has gold reflectives. So I keep it in my gold drawer. Okay, different dimensions, another one of their Earth ones. This one's actually called Earth. Another one of their Galaxy ones is what I meant to say. Beautiful, love that one, keeping that. All right, then we have a Sassy Pants. This one is Have Toilet Paper You Will Not. This is from 2020, the year that sucked. December, I believe it was in December, right? Yeah, where the whole, um, yeah, December 20, the whole, um, month's theme was the year that sucked. Really interesting. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, another dollish polish. This one is the Fratellis. This one is so pretty and interesting and unique. Um, such ugly bottle syndrome though, and I feel like it's changed colors. So let me swatch that one. Okay, oh, I love this one. This is one of my oldest polish. This is Glitter Days Y2K. This one is so grungy and interesting. I really like this one. Why are you crying? This guy is being very needy today. Okay, I love this. This is a Franken that I made. This is, it used to be Zoya's Brighton, and this was horrible, horrible on my nails. It just made my nails look dirty and dingy, and I Frankened it, and now it's this beautiful, grungy, just beautiful, almost pewtery gray, almost, just really, really interesting and unique. I love it, and keep that. All right, Beezy's Lacquer, rest in peace, these fish in particular. Gonna keep that. Okay, then we have Cadillacers, Shoroit Compassion. I don't remember if I got this from a friend or if I picked this up in a D stash. I also don't remember how I feel about this. Let me swatch it. All right, then we have OPI's um, Golden Eye. I do not love this polish, but I know everyone loves this polish. And this is a lemming on a lot of people's wish list. And the collector in me says I need to keep it, even though I don't love it. So I'm going to keep it, but I don't love it. All right, then we have Night Owls. You can't take the sky from me. Another one that could maybe go in my grays. But I think I put it in my silver just because so much gets lost in my grays. I keep that. Okay, then we have Calorza Carol Camellia. I'm pretty sure this is sheer enough that I intended to use as a topper. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. All right, Calorza Carol King Tut. 
really like this one. Like that. Glam Polish, I have spoken. Another one that is kind of like a bronzy gold, so I keep it in my gold drawer. Love that one. Okay, Zoya's Tomoko, one of my oldest Zoya's. I really love this one. One of the only, one of the few pixie dust that I've kept. I've decluttered a lot of pixie dust from Zoya. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have Glitter Days Invisibility Cloak. This one used to be a thermal. I'm pretty sure it doesn't transition anymore. But really pretty. I'm gonna, this actually is looking more um, like gray. So I think I'm probably gonna move that into my gray drawer. So I'm gonna set that aside and move that to my gray drawer. All right, then we have another one of the galaxy ones. This one is Mars. Look how beautiful that is. So gorgeous. Okay, a couple more. We have Rogue Lacquer's Golden Autumn. That's pretty. Oh, I should have pulled that out for fall, put on my fall rack. Okay. Then we have LA Colors Diamond Crush, one of those ultra sparkly ones that I found at Five and Below. This one is Shooting Star. I don't have anything else like this, so I will keep this just for kind of like combo purposes. All right, and then we have Bluebird Let's Get Lit. Go ahead and keep that one. All right, I'm gonna do a couple swatching and comparisons and I'll come back. Okay, so the first one I was looking at was my Glam Polish um, Bright Lights Big City. This is definitely a topper, so I'm gonna move this into my rack with my toppers. And then the Cadillac Sheroit Compassion. This is not necessarily a topper, it's in more of a sheer tinted base, not a clear base, but a sheer tinted base. Um, but it's too tinted to really wear this as a topper over anything other than a gray. So I think I'm just gonna move this into my gray drawer and wear it with gray undies. And then I also was looking at these two, the Glitter Days Invisibility Cloak. I think I'm gonna move that into my gray drawer as well. And then the Glam Polish, the She Wolf, I think I'm gonna move that into my gray drawer as well. All right, now, I did some swatching. Um, here we go. I did the KB Shimmer Gone Glamping. That's this one. This is really pretty and blingy. I'm looking at it and I think it's tarnished again because it's looking more silver, more like a, um, like a pewter almost. So I don't, or like a, um, yeah, like a pewter, pewter gray, I guess. I think I'm gonna move this one into my gray drawer as well. Um, debating if I should just declutter it though. I mean, it's super, super pretty and blingy. I just, I never wear it, but it's so pretty. I think this would be really pretty in the winter. So I'm gonna move this into my gray drawer and then I could see myself decluttering this again in the future. But for now, I'm gonna put it in my gray drawer. All right, and then the bling in the new year. This one is just super blingy, so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This one is more of kind of like a bronzy gold. Really pretty, so I'm gonna keep that one. All right, and then the last two are the little dollish polish minis. We have uh, this one I did first. The scruffy looking Nerf Herder, that's this one. The formula is not great. It's not worth it trying to deal with the little teeny tiny brush. So I'm gonna declutter this one. And then the next one is the Fratelli's, which I actually really like this one. It's really cute, really pretty. I like that shimmer. However, I just hate dealing with these little minis. They're just, they're hard to work with. The brushes are so tiny. You end up having to do three or four coats just to get enough on your nail. So I think I'm gonna I am gonna declutter this one. I might play around with frankening both of these. Um, maybe find a bottle that is that I could rinse out and then transfer these into a bigger bottle, but add other components into them to franken them because I do love to play around frankens. But for now, I'm gonna say that I'm decluttering them. So that means I'm decluttering three. Um, not mad at that. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.